before they fade. Oh my goodness, I'm going to do this clip. I'm going to say welcome, welcome to an episode of Blooms for You, where I dedicate my blooms to you, viewers, subscribers, anybody that leaves a comment in my comment section goes on a list and I can dedicate blooms to you individually as my orchids bloom. But I try to get a cluster blooming so that I can do justice to everybody who watches this video and say these blooms of my dendrobium of Philum, they all bloom for you to say thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel for watching this video and I appreciate it so very much. And I don't have any other way to express that to you, but to say, look, pretty blooms. When I look at them, I think of Ninja Orchids and everybody that comments and that watches the videos. So Dendrobium of Philum, this gorgeous, gorgeous spectacle. While it still lasts, I'm gonna capture it and say thank you so much to all of you. I have a few other blooms that are in bloom and we'll go and have a look at them. They will be clip wise because it's not all happening at once, but to compile a video for the Blooms For You series, it's good enough. So let's go and have a look. Jumbo Memsap Su Thompson, Natumai Una Endelea Vizuri Kwamba Orchids Shamba Yako Inakupa Furaha Nyingi La Kwamba Una Maua Mengi Asante sana kwamsada wako hapa kwenge kituo changu. That is for you, Sue Thompson. <laughs> and this Brassavola tubercolata blooms for you. I know it is just a single bloom, but my goodness, what a bloom. Very, very beautiful. This gorgeous species, one bloom, I'm happy to have her. She blooms for you to say Asante Sana very much, Sue Thompson, for supporting my channel with your comments. And the Swahili was basically saying, I hope that you are doing well, and I hope that your orchids are doing well and giving you a lot of joy, as well as a lot of blooms. Plus a little add-on in Swahili to say thank you so much for supporting my channel. I bet you, though, that the channel word in Swahili actually means a little creek not channel as in YouTube, but hey, that is the word, channel, be it on a creek site or be it on YouTube. If I were to say channel in Swahili, I would say it channel in English. There are many, many Swahili words that have been taken from the English because of the technology at the time that the language was created. It didn't exist in that language. So if you say ndege, that is bird, but ndege is also an aeroplane, bicycle, is a bicycle, pretty similar to English. So some words will sound a little bit funny. If you understood it in such a way, Sue, that I'm saying thank you for supporting my creek, well, <laughs> lost in translation. <laughs> anyway, Sue, my Brassavola tuberculata. Massive, mingi, mingi, asantasanas. Massive thank you. You've brought a lot of joy and recollections and flashbacks to my life, for which I'm eternally grateful. The images that you sent me by email, I couldn't stop. You know, the grin is big when you see a picture and then you scroll down and then there's more and then there's more and then there's more to the point that you just sit back and go, no way. It was epic. I get goosebumps while I'm standing in the sun seeing what you sent me. It was. Fantastic. Thank you so very much for that as well. So, Brasavola tuberculata. I could go yapping away about my Swahili and all that business with you for quite some time. But this bloom is the only bloom I have for this year, but she is bigger than anything I've had out of this orchid before. And she smells divine at night. I can tell you, absolutely divine. It has this beautiful, beautiful citrus, lemon, jasmine, all in one go, but only in the evening, just when the sun starts to set. And just with those pristine colors, almost white. Love it. The orchid itself is nothing really to show for. It's one of those species that is getting a little bit harder to find, but 
also a little bit more difficult to grow in a climate that has no humidity such as mine, so it is in self-watering. It is not doing as well as I would like it to, but for this one bloom, Sue, Mingi Asantesanas, to you for supporting my creek. <laughs> Ta-da! Finally! Can you believe it? For the Care Collab, it was just unfurling one little petal from the bud. <laughs> Next day, the whole bloom was open, and this is now two days later upon filming, and only one bud is left to go to bloom. Go figure! <laughs> but anyway, this is my Dendrobium unicum in gorgeous, gorgeous bloom for Ebony Moultrie. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Ebony Moultrier, possibly somewhere French, maybe Senegal or Canada. If you see this, please let me know because I do try to get the name right. But look, Ebony, this Dendrobium unicum is all yours, even though it is here blooming in my collection, but the blooms are for you. Also to say thank you to you very, very much. Possibly merci beaucoup for watching my videos, for subscribing, for leaving your comments. I really appreciate it. And I am quite happy to be able to say that these blooms at this point in time are showing off at their best. If I were to leave it a little bit longer and wait for that bud to open, it's possible that in my very hot climate, the first one that opened in the back would start to fail. They're supposed to be long lasting, but hmm, maybe last year, mine didn't last that long because they were on a snapped cane. I don't know. I am going to find out, but I'm not going to risk showing you beautiful, beautiful, fresh, pristine blooms of a Dendrobium unicum, seeing as I have them here right now in this condition. And for the first time ever, I have a fragrance. I have a fragrance. Oh my goodness, how do I describe this fragrance? Everybody says tangerine, and yes, there's a hint of tangerine, but it's better than that. Um, <clears throat> if you remember, or if you know of the Christmas candies that you get with the sugar coating of those jellies that you, you know, in Germany, we put them on our trees and the children would have to go look for them. If you think of that one and it's the orange one, it has an orange fragrance to it that has coated with sugar. It is not super intense, but I'm telling you, I did not have that last year. Oh, but it's there now. Oh yes, let me summarize. The Christmas candies that are jellies that are surrounded and coated in sugar, and the orange one. That is what this smells like. Oh, it's delicious. How, what can I say, Ebony? <laughs> you gotta smell it to believe it. Fantastic, so pleased. And since we saw them last, well, plant last time. Let me see. Get you up there. There's the new growth extending. I know it doesn't look like much, but I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of my Dendrobium unicum. So happy that it is alive, even though we know Dendrobiums are tough. Yeah, there is a limit, but here we are. Blooms and a new growth. This is awesome. Very, very happy. Ebony Moultrie. Thank you so very much for your support on my channel. Merci beaucoup. I really appreciate it. I hope that you are doing well in your part of the world. I have another pretty, pretty one in bloom. And I have taken three names from my list because I have such an abundance of blooms on my Doria Thanopsis Sogo Vivian from the Flask F858. <laughs> well, we know that much, Flask 858. But this little spike here with these cute blooms, making sure that the leaves don't get too hot, goes to Ayanimaf 28. Am I saying that correctly? Ayanimaf. Pandemic Orchids, I know that one. That is a great name. I'm sure that everybody over the pandemic has at least had some blessings and some joy because of their orchids. And then also let's go gardening with Angel Lerin or Angel Lerin. Let's go gardening with Angel Lerin or Angel Lerin. Either way, if you see this video, please correct me 
with the spelling of your names, despite the fact I've written them on the screen. And if you have a channel, your channel is linked in the description below. But back to my beautiful little Sogo Vivian from the Flask 858. <laughs> Isn't this just a cutie? Yes, I put her in the sun because I think I can get away with it here with the colors. Let me make sure because sometimes it can wash it out a little bit. But the detail is amazing. Let's go in a little bit further. Isn't that gorgeous? The blooms aren't very big, granted, but they are very tough little blooms. And there's so much going on. They are also quite long lasting. And the orchid itself is actually variegated still. I have a feeling though that I'm going to be losing the variegation in the next two or three years, which is somewhat normal it can happen. But when it comes to the blooms, yeah, I like to have my foliage variegated. But if the orchid keeps doing this for me year in, year out, being somewhat of a foul, I never had challenges with this one. Never objected to my self-watering and lecker. And let's get situated again properly. So I'm keeping it regardless of the fact that I may lose the variegation. Just always making sure that the leaves don't heat up. Otherwise, we'll move on to the shade because if I'm talking too much, then my orchid shouldn't suffer for it, should it? But I did want to say thank you so very much to Aniamif 28 Pandemic Orchids. And let's go gardening with Angel Lerin. This cute little spike and all these blooms that are not fragrant, they bloom for you. Thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel for your comments and your positive feedback. It is very motivating and very, very much appreciated. I hope that wherever you find yourselves in the world that you are doing well. The tiniest of blooms, but oh my goodness, pristine, pristine area hyacinthoides. Left hand story, this bloom spike blooms for you. Also to say thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. I was expecting to be able to give more spikes away on this one today, but for now, the one growth that I have is in bloom. These blooms are very short lived and they open from the top of the spike down and then once that's happened, they start to fade. So before I even wait for another spike to come onto its own and show you a little bit more, I better film this. I better say thank you to Left Hand Story very, very quickly. Otherwise I will miss this spike and that will be it. So I'm taking the opportunity while I have it. It looks a little bit like the Lily of the Valley, doesn't it? I absolutely adore Lily of the Valley. Love the fragrance of Lily of the Valley and all that. But this one is not fragrant at all. Which is a shame given the name Area Hyacinthoides and that is one of the reasons I bought it. Thinking Hyacinths, Hyacinthoides. I thought it would be fragrant, but nope. Nothing of the sorts. Not a single whiff of anything. It grows for me in Lekka and Semi-Hydro, as you can see, but I would actually say that the roots themselves, it's almost like more of a terrestrial orchid. Not that it matters because terrestrials and anything does well in Lekka and Semi-Hydro or self-watering, so it's not a problem. My only issue with this orchid here in my climate, which is very hot and dry, let's go up a bit, you can see the tips of the leaves. Yeah, that is my lack of humidity, unfortunately. Which is a shame because actually when the growths are beautiful and fresh and healthy, they look really, really nice, but not for long in my climate. Anyhow, non-fragrant, looks like Lily of the Valley, as the name Hyacinthoides, 
all very misleading, I have to say. But Area Hyacinthoides for left-hand story, thank you so very, very much. This spike is for you. I really appreciate your support on my channel. What a giver this Dendrobium soraula is. Back in bloom again, and I am anticipating that it will be in bloom for quite some time because it is one busy, busy orchid. And I'm referring to this here in case you were wondering. This is Dendrobium soraula. And she blooms for Jose Yusa Perez, Barry Birch, Janet Reynolds, and oh, Chiku. I have so many clusters, so many blooms on every cluster. I thought I would cluster some viewers and commentators from the past into this one little display to say thank you to all of you so very much as well for your support on my channel. My Dendrobium Saraula shares a mount with Dendrobium Saratolabium and a film over here to the right. Back in the day, all these orchids were very tiny. I did not know if any of them would actually make it based on what I received in the mail. A few sticks here and there. And it turns out I wanted the Saraula, which I got. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Turns out that when I mounted Ceratolabium here on the right, <laughs> it turns out it wasn't a Ceraula. When it bloomed, it was a Ceratolabium, which was also very welcome. But anyway, that's why you see three orchids on a mount. When you get a few sticks in the mail, you're thinking you're mounting two orchids onto a mount. Then it's just a question of time. Eventually, you'll have to separate them. Well, here I am almost three years later and uh, I have three orchids on a mount unexpectedly and they're doing superbly. Needless to say, for Jose Yusa Perez, Barry Birch, Janet Reynolds and Ochiku, I have one, two, three, four impressive, impressive clusters of Ceraula with plenty, plenty of buds going on absolutely going nuts and there's a cluster here with still more buds to go this has become such a rewarding orchid based on a few sticks in the mail here is another cluster going to open i have more buds opening in the back over here this clearly there's only two buds left to open but we consider it open Here's another cluster and another cluster. It just goes on and on and on. And she is not finished yet because the first cluster that I filmed earlier in the season bloomed off the apex of this cane, which is just new. It has finished blooming and is throwing out more buds even. But that is not all. Even down here, the oldest and most decrepit looking of canes that I got also wants to do its thing and it's probably going to bloom with one or two blooms. Amazing, love it. Not fragrant, but beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The color is almost, almost correct on the camera. There's a little bit more of a deeper lavender in her, not as pink, maybe more of a mauve. Yeah, more mauve. But as the sun goes in and out of the clouds, maybe you can I see in the camera how it's going. I don't see much because of the reflection. These blooms are extremely delicate. Water on them and they sort of look a little bit frazzled even though they're fresh. But now that my canes are coming out and away from the mount, I don't have to worry with the water dripping onto the blooms as such. So we're out of the woods and I can show you some pretty, pretty Saraula blooms. I'm really, really pleased with this orchid. And we're gonna see more of her in the future. I don't know if I mentioned, but she is not fragrant at all. But she is gorgeous, so floriferous, <laughs> and a very, very good specimen that I can give away to once again Jose Yusa Perez, Barry Birch, Janet Reynolds, and O Chiku. Thank you to all of you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. I'm always trying to see that I can tidy up while I'm filming, but <laughs> that leaf is still not ready to go. 
Thank you very, very much. Apologies for my distractions. It is sometimes a little bit difficult to stand in front of something that is so pretty without looking and getting lost for words sometimes. Can you see those sparkles? Oh, is that showing on camera? That is not bug sparkles. That is what they do. They sparkle in the sun. Thank you for your support, everybody. Very, very much appreciated. I hope that you're doing well in all the parts of the world that you are in. My goodness, so pretty, so short-lived, beautiful. So I put them in the sun so we can appreciate them with a bit of sunshine on them. They're so delicate in color. The sun doesn't even wash them out. It actually enhances them. I love this orchid so very much. I just wish that I could preserve these blooms a little bit longer. Thank you everybody so very, very much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day. My dendrobium of film will fade soon, but for now, she blooms for you.